Uh, welcome back, everyone, to an episode of Morocco. Where, as you guys know, we were thinking about invading the uh, good friends of ours, the the Mamelukes. But as you guys know, we are insanely bad about militaristic tech, and so we're just trying to catch up to everyone before we, you know, go attack. Which I'm assuming we're starting to get at least a little bit more advanced, at least a little bit. Uh, I don't, I don't really know. It's, it's honestly an upper debate kind of thing. Colony self-sustaining. That's a good way to start today's episode. That's a really good way to start today's episode. Um, except for the fact we don't know what this is. Well, we could go right here then. Cause it's not like that big of a deal if we don't like go and order how I set up the colonies. Although I need this one to finish a little bit quicker than I thought I did. Anyways, though, guys, last episode what we were really thinking about doing is we were thinking about attacking the Inca. Because we can attack the Inca. And... You know what? I've I've basically thought of it and, you know, there's really no negative... There's really no negatives to not attacking the Inca. And honestly, having some colonies out there to kind of, like, show that we are official, like, power will demonstrate to the rest of the Europeans that they really should not mess with me. I am legitly a power in this game. So, that's very good. Uh, we can now get more tech. We're seriously trying to, we're seriously just trying to take down all of these so we can catch up to the rest of the great powers. So that's really what we want to do. We really have to technologically advance. And we have three diplomats that we're not using right now. So let's see what we can do. They rivaled us. They like us. Let's start improving relationship with them. Yeah, we just, we just have to find random people that, that did not rival us. Which, I'm amazed at how many people did rival us. No, actually having a, an, an Iraq alliance would not be that bad. And, oh my gosh, you guys are happy with me. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta capitalize on this moment really quickly. Get that royal marriage. There we go. Okay, now that you guys are happy with me, you guys are never going to leave me. Okay? Like, we're going to be buds. Me and you are going to have an alliance and everything. Persia, the Ottomans, you name it. We're going to be buddies. Because I do not want these guys to leave me. Because with them on my side, then I have a better chance of, like, taking on the Mamelukes and getting a better seat over here. Game one stability or game money? That's basically what it's asking me. Uh, game one stability. Who would, who would take the money? Game one stability is just, like, so good. It's not even crazy. Okay, can I just go send? No diplomats to send. Wait for it. There we go. My diplomat's back. Get that alliance solidified. And there we go. So now we got an alliance with Persia, a mediumly good power in the in the uh, Middle Eastern region. But the reason why I wanted them is specifically because, oh my goodness, Hedges, you have a powerful army. <laughs> well, that wasn't why, but um, now since we have them on our side, we should have a much better balance between the Mamelukes Super Uber Alliance, you know, the Crimean, Oman, and Hedges, which also includes the Ethiopians, but they just don't mention that. Uh, by the way, would you guys like to become my protectorate? Uh... No. <laughs> I, I kind of thought maybe I could get them as my protectorate, but anyways. Yeah. With this way, we have the Persians, the Ottomans, and us all against the uh, Mamelukes, Hengez, Oman, and Crimea. This is... and Ethiopians. And this is going to be a pretty big alliance. In fact, what I might actually have to do is actually wait until I actually conquer the Kilwa. Kilawa? And then start actually, um doing my major final attack which would be pretty awesome it's going to be pretty awesome I should say yeah now that I've explained all that let's continue on with the game to do and we almost looks like our fleet's building up pretty well we want to make sure we have a good enough sized army to like fit one of these sized armies onto the ships because anything less will probably be destroyed pretty quickly by the uh, advanced um, Incan troops. I mean, I don't I don't believe they're actually going to be able to destroy me. I just believe that they're going to actually annoy me enough to destroy me. Because I'll make some kind of stupid mistake and then, boop, we're dead. Okay. And there we go. The last little ships are being built. There we go. Uh, prove relationship with France. That's good. Let's see, who else should we prove relationships with? Let's just, you know, let's just start and prove relationships with everyone. The Austria, you're probably the Holy Roman Emperor right now. Yes, you are. So let's start. No, it's Bohemia. Huh. Bohemia. That's weird. Okay, Hungary. We're going to improve relationship with you guys. 
Yeah. And Russia. Well, actually, let's still finish our improved relationship with Russia. Actually, no, let's keep. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's start improve relationship with Russia a little bit. And then, now that we got a good, decent sized. Uh, cog. Cog deployment place. Let's go see if our entire army right here can fit in it. Okay, got this, got this right here. There, and let's see, and let's see. 21, 21, yeah, we got it. Okay, now, can we make it all the way over here without dying? We're gonna test it by just going right here. Okay, yeah, there we go. We got all 21 men on the ships. I guess, I'm pretty sure I don't think we'd have much trouble in our own shores because we're patrolling these shores pretty, pretty effectively. Like, the Europeans are not gaining any of this. But, getting all the way over here, this might be actually a trouble. Plus, we also need, if I must be honest, a conquistador. So, maybe we should dock up for a second, get a conquistador, and then go send him on to a rampage of mass destruction. Yeah, let's go get that conquistador. Wait. Oh, no, I don't want the people. I want these guys. Let's see. So, you guys get a conquistador. There we go. This guy's a, uh, he's a decent conquistador. So, let's go get him onto the ship. So, if the ship leaves, you guys are going to leave. And let's go send him all the way over here. We're going to see if these guys can make it. Um, What we might have to do is get fleet basing rights in one of these uh, colony places. It, it's going to require a little bit... Uh, of strategic interest. Did they already die? <laughs> no, no. All right, they're only suffering one percent nutrition. Okay, that's not too bad. We might. It's gonna. It's gonna be pretty close. That's all I'm gonna say. We might be able to make it if it gets down to like seventy six of most of my ships. I'm gonna have to turn back because I'm not gonna. Seriously, I'm not gonna like sacrifice my ships for a stupid cause. I mean, honestly. That's pretty stupid if I really do send all my ships in there and they all die. So let's see, they're only about this way far in and most of them are still 100% but we're starting to get into serious nutrition and as a pirate ship. Gosh dang it. Okay, send our ships back. Yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not risking it. I'm just not gonna risk it. It's just... What the? Two rebellions? Okay. For a moment, we're gonna have to increase all of our militaristic might to full. How'd you get two? Congo is like the most reactionary place I've ever had. Like, honestly. You know what? The army I have right here, let's go send it right over there because we're gonna have to. This is this is just stupid. Okay, you guys retreat. You guys aren't gonna win, I already know it. Yeah, that's just stupid. They got two armies. Two rebellions spawning on here. Yeah, I'm gonna keep like two armies down here to make sure these guys are kept in order. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they should be coming back into friendly waters. There we go. Oh man, that's just that's just stupid right there. That's just insanely stupid. Two rebellions. Two rebellions. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, so now we're gonna go send these guys. Plus that army, both these armies are gonna go kill this one stupid death stack of mass torture to my armies. There we go. We already got a leader, so I'm not I'm not gonna combine them either because I don't want them to be combined. But with both these guys, this should 43 men versus all this should not be able to like die. There we go. Split up the men. Get this right here. And since we have a colonist, we might as well use him to our best and most abilities. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to colonize for a little bit. Uh, or at least go conquer the Incans, like I was thinking, because I can't get over there. Lose piety. If it loses prestige, I'm going to have to... Okay, they didn't lose prestige this time. Good. And there we go. We've got more and more losses. We're starting to catch up again quicker. I mean, we only have to pay 380 for our militaristic tech, which is good. And our, neighbor, and our neighbors are really starting to cut it down. Islamic School of Learning, Ideas. Yeah, we're really... This is really starting to help us out. And 12 mils touristic tech is really starting to help us. And we're about to get 14. Or 13. No, 14. Yeah, it's 14. 
14 in the administration level. There we go. Okay. Now we have access over here. This was kind of a stupid way to get it, but we finally have access over here. Mm hmm. There we go. And. Yeah, we can also try to. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I think actually the Inca are kind of out of our range. It's weird for me to say that, but I think they are actually safe for colonization. And let's get our next militaristic tech. We now have better cannons. Do do do. Chambered cannons. And let's see. Let's get some more docks. Yes, let's get more docks. Oh wait, not get more docks. There we go. And now we can just relax. And we are slowly starting to catch up to these guys. 15. They're still, I think they're still in the Muslim tech group. Yes, they are. And if they do, if they do try to westernize, I'm going to be like on them in a, in a sense. Like I'm going to be like, boom, boom, boom. We're western. We're going to attack them right when they westernize. If they do try to westernize and use us as the, you know, do exactly what these guys did. So weird. It's so weird to think of that these guys westernized. Okay, and let's see. Have the bonuses gone away? No. They're still pretty mad about a lot of things. I don't believe it's going to... It's going to take a little bit before they're actually happy with me again. But, yeah. We're going to keep our two armies right here, too. These places are just annoying. Yeah, let's core this place, too. So we can finally become a little bit happy. This place is almost converted, which is nice. It's taking us so long to convert that. And then right here. who? That galley tradition is going to be nice. And Brigadier Spear Pilgrim! Dang it, I can't lose any more prestige, honestly. Because I have literally not much prestige as it is. And at this point, it is time to start integrating the Ottomans. You need 109 relations. Well, just give me one second. Two, 150. Yeah, I'm a little bit lazy, as you guys can tell. Okay, and now let's start integrating them. We have to wait till March 6th. That's not going to take too long. I have a free diplomat ready for them anyway. So then, then once we get that, then we can start integrating them. Integrate, yes! And now, we are finally integrating the Ottomans. <laughs> we won't finish until 1851 though, but we are finally integrating the Ottomans. And so this is now a joyous day for us. The biggest vassal and the most unexpected people I would... I would ever expect of us inheriting, we are finally integrating them into our society. Now, what I am going to have to do though is use their massive military to my advantage before I completely, you know, integrate them is use them to, I really don't want to increase Diplocor cost or Diplo tech cost, so I already have enough of problems with that as it is. Okay, yeah, I, I know, you guys You guys definitely want to become my vassal, and you guys definitely want to become peaceful. By the way, you guys, uh, it's, it's finally time for us to end our relationship. I think you guys are finally ready to become uh, fully-fledged vassals. And how are we doing in terms of money right now? Uh, not exactly great, but not exactly bad. Let's go send our people... Our little shore guys to over here, and we've almost we've almost completely blocked up the Europeans. Just a little bit longer, and we blocked them up. This last little province right here means we completely blocked up all Europeans, and they will no longer be able to. Well, honestly, they will not be able to conquer any of Africa. We've completely blocked them, and now we can just sit here and be happy. This is what I want to do for some time. The duck field ends. I don't know what that was, but good job for you, Sweden, for ending the duck feud. I also don't know why you haven't formed the Scandinavian Empire yet, because I know you guys have enough. I know you guys do. Let's see, any of the missions interesting? No. Population just migrated? Hey, that's a good thing. And let's see. We have 459. Hmm. Let's see, how are we doing in our tech group? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I, I honestly believe we're doing pretty good now. Now that we've completely, like, embargoing us, are these guys too, which is kind of annoying me. Let's see, how much has that actually affected our trade? Um, a little bit there, a little bit there. Well, you know, Portugal, I don't like you guys very much. 
And since you guys are the weaker of the two, I'm going to boggle you guys. Because you guys... Mm, yeah. Yes, you and boggle. Who you guys... Never mind. Never mind. I just looked at the alliance and was like, wait, no, that'd be really terrible. I, mean, I could probably defend against it, but nah. That's terrible. Well, Ethiopia, if you ever want to become free... Yeah, you guys are mad at me. Never mind. I was about to say, if they ever want to become free, then I will come in and help them out. Because I'm such a nice guy like that. Because I'm a nice guy. Alright, so yeah, it seems like... It seems like we really, like, stabilized a lot of things in this world. Like, we are completely Africa. We are basically Africa. I mean, we own most of Africa, and Africa is us. There is literally not much else we can really do with that whole situation. Global tariffs. I don't want really to use tariffs, but I don't really have any money for more advanced advisors. So let's just do that. Uh, gain piety. No. Lose piety. Yes, that's actually a good thing. I wanted to lose piety. So, yeah. We finally got more. Yes! Okay, so now we got town hall, treasuries, kind of thing, and like I said, I'm going to be using this to gain administrative tech groups, because I actually do like the administrative, in all honesty, in all honesty guys, I honestly do like the administrative tech group a lot, and I honestly think it fits our ideals pretty well, so let's just get that. Let's see, and then we also need to get some more temples, maybe? <laughs> Just like two temples. There we go. Oh my goodness. And then La Plata. La Plata. Rio de la Plata. It's a Portuguese colony. And then the Aztecs are still. What? How did the Aztecs are still alive? I mean, they're not even like advanced, they're just still alive. Dang, what is the world coming to these days? Oh, man. This is a good time just to look at everything that I have. So, yeah, there's no coalitions. Everyone seems to love me. Except for the... Except for the... Iberian Peninsula. They all hate me. <laughs> well, that's understandable because... I don't honestly let them have anything of notice. And I make sure they die if they try to take anything from me. And... Let's see. We have some fleet diplomats. Let's use them to start a relationship with some people. Let's go hungry. Start a relationship with hungry. Milan seems like a good dominant power over here, so let's improve relationships with them. And. Are you guys still trying to travel to that one province? No. You guys are over here. Good. Good. I thought you guys were still trying to travel that one problem, so I would have been so mad. So these will now be produced. Ah, no. No, you gotta be kidding me. More slaves. I was kind of hoping that we kind of got past that point of slavery. We were actually becoming Kilwa. Okay. You guys are almost ready to diplo annex. Like, I think, like, one more turn. I don't have, wow, I don't even have a royal marriage, and you guys are like, yeah, Diplo Annex. Okay, let's go see. Economy-wise, we have diplomats to send. Let's just, like, retract this one right here. Because we really need to Diplo, we need to Diplo Annex this guy. This guy has been, like, in our empire for years, and yet we never managed to actually Diplo Annex him. Grain! Huzzah! Okay, Diplo Annex them. Let's send a little tiny gift. 25, that should be enough. Let's get our diplomat back from this guy. And wait for a second. We're gonna do this. We're actually gonna do this. Wait. Diplomats arrived. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Annexing this guy. Good prestige gain! I love that! A technological gain too! Huzzah! We now gain shipyards, canals, and we are really and we're starting to become less than just a minor power in this world now. Now we're starting to like 
technologically get advanced like the rest of Europeans. And... Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, guys. That was it for today's episode. A little bit, like I said, a little bit shorter. Well, not really shorter, just a little bit more of a, you know, calm and relaxing episode. There's really not much going on. But we are heating, we're slightly heating up now, now that we're getting closer and closer to the Mamluk's power. Um, we also are diplomatic annexing the Ottomans, and we are planning on expanding our range maybe a little bit more.